Hello and welcome to a video on how to generate reports on the landlord ledger on various tenants or properties. Now to generate reports you'll notice that you have you can track different properties on the expanded version and on the uh, basic version you'll just track one property but nonetheless uh, we're looking at the expanded version here with different properties and also you notice here that we're using our description field so uh, we're adding entering in vendor names or tenant names within the description field and this can be a nice way to set things up on your bookkeeping file in order to generate reports so first of all how do you generate reports on a property well in the expanded version you just simply choose the property and there you go and you can see the reports and the graphs will reflect exactly what you chose in this filter up top now the other question might be well how do you generate a report on a tenant well you could actually generate a report based on any keyword in the description field so all you need to do is just use the magnifying glass here to turn on the search bar and type in a name if that's what you've used or a tenant name or a number or any kind of identifier you can generate a report on that so let's say we got John Doe here we can just type in the word Doe or John or a partial term and it'll match and search and filter out all the entries so now we can see for John Doe those are the months he's been there there's a report of what he's paid us and there's a graph and you can actually now export this report the actual records themselves or just the report business only would be the best choice because it's not going to be any personal expenses or income here as it's, it's safe to assume so just use that and you can exp export this to a spreadsheet or to a PDF file and you'll have a report on that tenant rent and so on and um, you can also use the print command the same way and just simply print uh, uh, straight to the printer the report and that's really all there's to it to tracking a tenant now at the bottom you can just remove the search and you'll be back to seeing all the entries and as I mentioned you know you the number of reports you can produce are uh, are endless uh, there's hundreds of combinations because you could actually say okay I'm going to just want to generate a report for November um, or October or December you can choose the month or you can choose the quarter um, and you can filter these records multi-dimensional so you can say I want all fourth quarter uh, entries that I are v related to my visa card or my savings account uh, you can then filter further by a search term uh, for that particular month let's say you want to see what uh, John Doe did for that month in the fourth quarter let's say in this example he paid us a couple of rent payments here and so on so you can see how this is very dynamic and all the graphs and reports are reflecting the filters that are used and the search terms that is used in the search box so anyway just make sure that um, you know when you're done you can just uh, turn off all the filters if you like just to make sure you see all the entries and you can save your changes so really that's all there's to it thanks for tuning in